Hey everybody, today I am going to go over the basic parts of the camera with you and this is what we're going to be doing in class as well. So make sure that you pay attention to this video so that you can work through the worksheet and identify where all of these parts are on your camera. If you're using the school cameras, you're going to be using this Canon. But if you ever pick up a different camera, especially a different brand like a Nikon, the controls are going to be in slightly different places and sometimes they might even be named slightly different things. So the first button that we always want to find is the on off switch. So in some cameras there's like a little switch that says on off over here. On this particular Canon you just turn the uh, control wheel and that will turn the camera on. So it's telling me there's no card in the camera, which is fine. We don't need to worry about that right now. So different cameras are going to have that on off switch in a different place. The second part that we wanna be able to identify is the viewfinder. So the viewfinder is what you look through to see what your image is going to look like to see through the lens. So this is the viewfinder and then this is your LCD view screen. So this screen can be set up so that it shows you uh, what normally you would see through the viewfinder or it can be set up just to give you information on your picture itself. I prefer to look through the viewfinder and to then have the LCD screen display information. So if we turn this camera on You can see that the LCD screen in the back is set up so that it's got all kinds of information on it. I know this information doesn't mean much right now, but we don't need to worry about it. So you'll begin to understand this information as the class goes on. Next, you really want to familiarize yourself with this wheel right here. So the wheel has presets on it, which we are not going to be using these presets for like portrait and for, uh, you know, landscape. We might use the video camera preset towards the end of the year, but really we're going to be working off of this little wheel right here. And we're going to be using these two modes which are aperture priority and shutter priority, and we'll talk more about what those mean later. And then this button, which is fully manual, which means you're controlling everything about the camera. So the next area that we need to know about or the next button is the shutter button, which is gonna actually take the picture. Now, I don't have a card in my camera, so it can't save the picture, but it will still display uh, a picture. So it's still telling me what the picture would look like if I could save the file. Then we've got this wheel here. This is controlling how fast the shutter opens and closes and I will actually show you guys the shutter in a second. And we also have the lens. So on a digital SLR camera or digital single lens reflex camera, which is what this is and what you're gonna be using, the lens can come off. So we call this a DSLR because obviously it's digital. It doesn't have film, it has a digital sensor. It's got a single lens as we can see here, just one lens. There are older cameras that have two lenses and it's called reflex because of how you see out of the lens. I'm gonna show you guys that right now. So all these lenses come off and there are little marks that are very useful for lining the lens up. So to take the lens off, I'm gonna press this button. I'm gonna twist and different lenses twist in different directions. So be gentle when you're first taking the lens off. And here's what the lens looks like. And then here's what the inside looks like. And it's a little dark, but there is a little mirror in here. So the reflex part of the camera is that when you press the shutter button, that little mirror flips up and exposes, right now we can just see the shutter, but there's a digital sensor behind that black shutter. 
And so the, the little mirror is what allows you to see through the viewfinder. So it's actually the lights coming in through the lens, bouncing off that mirror and being directed up to the viewfinder. So you have a pretty good idea of what you know the picture is gonna look like. So to put the lens back on, I'm just gonna line this square up with this square. And it should fit in there if you're struggling and it's not fitting, don't force it. It just means it's not lined up. So I'm gonna line it up and then I'm gonna twist it until it clicks. And you can feel the click and I could hear it, it was very faint. So along with the lens, on the side of the lens, we have what's called AF or autofocus and MF or manual focus. So autofocus is kind of what we're used to. Uh, it means the camera is doing the focusing for you. And that's fine for starting out, but eventually we're gonna switch to manual focus. So with autofocus, you can zoom in and out but you can't focus. So this ring right here would normally control the focus. So whether or not the picture is gonna be blurry. But if I switch to manual, now I can move this ring. So this ring is the zoom in and out ring and not all lenses will let you zoom in and out. This one does. All of the lenses that your basic camera comes with will zoom in and out. And then this focuses that picture. And so Again, if I switch back to auto, this is gonna be locked. So I don't wanna force it by trying to turn it. So the rest of the parts on the camera, we have what is called the hot shoe right here. I don't know why they call it that, but this is where you would put a external flash. So if you've ever seen cameras with those big flashes on top, that's what you would put here. There's a flash right here, so a little small built-in flash. And then we have all of the buttons on the back. So some of these buttons are pretty easy to understand. These two buttons right here are just zooming in and out when you're actually viewing a photo that you've shot. And then we have this button, which is gonna be for trashing a photo that we took that we don't like. We have the display button, which is gonna change your display. So it just makes your display go away. So if you're ever, you know, you know the camera's on, you've hit the shutter button, nothing's showing up, you probably just need to hit the display button. So you can make that display go away. Maybe um, you're shooting a really dark picture and the display is actually lighting things up that you don't want it to light up. We have the playback, which if there was a cam or a card in here, it would show you all the pictures that you'd take in and then you could delete the ones that you didn't like. And then finally we have menu. We're not gonna worry about the rest of these buttons right now. So there are a lot of um, menu items under the menu. We're not gonna worry about most of these right now. Uh, we do wanna look at this one, dust and delete data because if you have a card in here and you hit dust and delete data, it's going to erase everything on your card. And so you really wanna be careful about that. And then format card is another one that you wanna be careful of because you can change the format of your card so that your camera can no longer read it. So please be careful with that. And those are really the only ones that we're gonna worry about for right now. But there is a lot that's you know in this menu and we're going to need to become comfortable with the items that are in this menu. So to get back to the main screen, I just hit menu again and it brought me back to the main screen. Over here on the bottom of the camera, this is the tripod mount. So all tripods have this uh, head, basically like a flat piece of metal with a you know screw coming out of it. And they're all the same size, which is great. So all different brands of cameras should work on all different brands of tripods. So this is the tripod mount right here and you just screw it on. It's really easy to use. 
let's turn the camera off for this. And then we have the battery and that is where the memory card would go. I don't have a memory card in here right now. So the battery just comes out. It goes into a battery charger. Pretty self-explanatory how the battery charger works. On this side of the camera, we have some ports. So we have an HDMI port. So if you wanted to set your camera up to like play your images as a movie, you could plug the camera right into the computer. And then we have this port, which is more for just like connecting to the computer and downloading. So two slightly different ports. So you've got some options. So USB to micro USB. And then the last thing that I want you guys to see is this part of the lens and the front part of the lens. So the markings on this lens are there because this is a zoom lens. So I can zoom in or out. And this is telling me like how many millimeters the lens is zooming in or out. So it just means like your lens is getting longer basically. So stuff inside the lens is shifting around so that you can zoom closer or zoom further away from the subject that you're shooting. Not all lenses zoom in and out. Some lenses just have one focal length. So they're really only good for like close-ups or things that are far away. Uh, those are called fixed lenses or prime lenses. And we'll talk more about lenses in a couple weeks. And then at the very front, you have a lot of information on your lens. So it's telling me this is a Canon. It's telling me it's a zoom. I could have figured that out already because I can clearly zoom in and out. Uh, what, you know, length the lens zooms in and out to. And this is telling me the aperture range, which we'll get to later. So don't worry that that word is confusing. And then right here, it's giving me this weird number, a Greek symbol and 55 millimeter. This is just the size of this opening here. So if I wanted to attach another lens to it, it would have to be this exact size. Um, some lens caps, you know, you need the exact size, so 55 millimeters. Uh, and they also make these little like UV filters, which is just like clear glass, which helps cut down on glare. So I that if I wanted to put a UV filter on, I would need this lens size right here. I would need that exact same size for my UV filter and it just screws on. There are actually threads on the, eh, you can't really see them, but there, there we go. There are threads here so that you can screw something on to this uh, front part of the lens. So that's it. That's the majority of uh, what you guys are going to need to do when you go over your worksheet. And obviously, this is a Canon, and then this is the model. So the make is Canon, and the model is EOS 4000D, which is what we have here in school for you guys to use. If you bring in your own camera, it might be a different make and a different model.